According to the United Nations, over 226 million youth aged 15 to 24 have lived in Africa since 2015, representing nearly 20% of Africa's population. This number has, however, been projected to increase to 42% by 2030. Such a large number of people, if properly educated, hold the capacity to revolutionize the African continent. In order to achieve this, the Mandela Washington Fellowship, a flagship program of the Young African Leaders Initiative, YALI, which was created in 2014 by the Barack Obama administration, trains Africans in academic coursework and leadership skills. An alumni event was held in order to educate the 2019 fellows. The Mandela Washington Fellowship um, was designed by President Obama in 2014 to motivate, build young leaders, people who have demonstrated a proven track record of leadership uh, um, across their courts, whether you're a business person or you're in civic space as a volunteer or you're in public managing, probably will work with policy makers. So it was inspired by President Obama as a way of giving back to the African community. And we're having this program today, uh, the reunion conference, as a way to inspire, to welcome back those who were part of the 2019 cohort and kind of reintegrate them back into their society. Fellows of the 2019 edition revealed what inspired them to apply for the fellowship opportunity last year. Well, when I heard about the program last year, just last year, I looked through the program and what it does for those who are, are privileged to have it. I saw the impact it, it sought to, to make and um, that lined up with what I intend to do, what I want to achieve, the impact I need to make in life. So I saw it as a platform that um, could um, help me develop capacity to impact the country, to impact my generation. I applied for the Mandela Washington Fellowship because I wanted to expand my network of learning to understand the current infrastructures that has been used in creating accessibility for persons with disabilities. I run a business that sells technology that makes information accessible to blind persons. So I believe that if I if I'd chosen for the Mandela Washington Fellowship, I'll be able to meet other businesses that could, ex that could upgrade my knowledge on what I'm doing currently. And I was chosen for the fellowship. Insight on how the African youth could be better equipped for leadership roles was given by one of the alumni fellows. Equipping our youth in Nigeria is actually two ways. The person also needs to want to be equipped, you understand? And then the government also has a role to play to create enabling space for the youth to thrive. Because if you look at the population, statistics tells us that in less than three generations, more than 40% of the African population will be youths. And how many people in Nigeria? Nigeria is like the most populous black nation on earth. So that means that we have a lot of youth in Nigeria. So if the youth are not willing to be equipped, if the government is not willing to equip the youth to help the youth, um, there will be no point to it. So I think the first step is the government itself needs to create a community, a space for the youth to thrive. Adekpeju Jayoba, a 2014 fellow and winner of the 2019 Leadership Impact Award, gave advice to young Nigerians and also testified of the opportunities given to her due to the initiative. I would say that, yes, talent is universal, but opportunity is not. But however, you can find opportunities through diligence can check online, Google. I mean, Mandela Washington Fellowship is always open every year. There are a couple of other fellowships that are also annual like that. And it's not a function of whether you have funds or not. The key is starting, starting now with what you have. The MWF since 2014 has offered me incredible platform to be able to expand to other parts of Nigeria with the work that we do, to be able to semi-automate our processes, to be able to even walk into other platforms because of the credibility that the US government you know, has put in us by investing in us. Because the way it works, people, you know, it's about the US government investing in you and then because your government has invested in you, other people now see credibility in what you do and they in turn offer you more investment. So it's a growth platform, it's a connection platform, it's a huge networking platform. The initiative was also said to be improving the relationship between Africa and the United States. Well, I think one of the most important things that the fellows do whether they're in the United States is they are able to interact face to face with Americans, with institutions. They can see for themselves how the American political system works, the economic system works, how Americans think about Africa. And it's that face-to-face -face relationship 
right? Going beyond the, the news headlines, beyond the politics, and really understanding what is America and who are Americans and how they build a relationship people to people. The youth have been regarded as the hope of our fatherland. More efforts are therefore needed into properly educating our youth and preparing them for the responsibilities ahead of them. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Udunui.